Hey everyone, Alice here with your weekend quickie reading. Um, I don't know why why I renamed it that. I mean, yes, it is quick-ish. Um, it should be quick here. We're going to check in on your incoming energies for the weekend and the incoming energies of your person. And then we'll just kind of see what the potential outcome is for the next few days there for you and this person, possibly. Or just for you. I don't know. Depends on what comes out. Um, even though I know this is for the weekend, technically this is timeless. So whenever you do find it is whenever you are meant to find it. There may be a message in here for you. Uh, just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So not everything is going to apply to your situation. Like always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, don't try to force it. You know, if it if it's not clicking for you, then perhaps it's not your story or it can be just future influence. Uh, you can feel free to check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, or if you have a sign that's dominant in your chart, or you're just feeling drawn to a sign, or if you're cross-watching, you know, whatever you're feeling drawn to, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. You know, you, you do whatever you want. You have free will. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. Um, another thing, um, I'm going to mention here cause I'm probably not going to do the outros cause I realize I just repeat myself 12 times. So I'm just going to say it now before we start. Um, you know, if you enjoy these readings or you find them interesting, I do appreciate it. If you could like and or subscribe, that just helps me do more here with the channel and it keeps you informed when I post new readings up. Uh, which I try to do as frequently as I can. I just finished putting up the June 2022 uh, readings for all the signs and what's coming up is I'll do next week's uh, readings and then we'll go from there. I don't know what will happen there but um, I do appreciate uh, all the likes, subscribes, and if you share the video that would be great as well. You know, do what you want to do. It's up to you. Okay, um, so Let's get started. Uh, we'll start with Aries. Okay, Aries. Well, I'll just put that over there for now. Let's see what the incoming energy is like for you and your person for this weekend. I'm using the panda deck because pandas are like my spirit animal and I really like pandas. Pandas are like my favorite animal. I know when I was a kid, I used to like, whenever somebody would ask me what my favorite animal is, I would say it's a giraffe. But I'll be honest, I said it because I just wanted to be different. Everybody else would say all these other animals, like, you know, regular animals, dogs, cats, lions, bears, whatever. And I just said giraffe because I wanted to be different. I was that child, yes. <laughs> okay. Aries, let's see what the incoming energy is like here for you. We have the star in reverse. We have, ooh, the three of swords in reverse. The queen of swords. What the fuck is going on here, Aries? I'm just going to put these out here so I can see them. Because I want to look at them. Bottom energy here. We have the sun in reverse, temperance in reverse, ace of cups, three of cups, death in reverse. Ooh, okay, Aries, your overall energy, you're not very happy this weekend, sorry to say. Um, there's something here that you didn't want to end here. Mm. Or you've put it on pause. You've put it on pause so that you can socialize here, so that you can talk to other people. It's just so you can, it almost feels like you have put whatever it is that, it's like you don't want to deal with it right now. It's like, I don't want to deal with it right now. I just want to do what I want to do. I just want to kind of have fun right now. Um, mm. But there are feelings here. You have all these emotions here. 
and it does stress you out and it stresses you out and the stress doesn't make you very happy. You don't like to be stressed. Nobody likes to be stressed out. Of course. So what we've got here, your main energy here, is this, the Three of Swords in reverse. It's like, it's like, I don't, it's like you're like, I don't want to be hurt. Like, I don't want to deal with these hurt feelings, but you have hurt feelings, you know? It hurts to be this way. You haven't gotten over some heartache here. And you haven't gotten over it because you're starting to feel like it's hopeless. This weekend, you're going to feel like it's it's hopeless. Because there's something that you know. There's something that you figured out. And it almost feels like it's opening a wound again here for you. Uh, I'm sorry, Aries. This isn't a very fun weekend for you, at least not emotionally. Um, you know, there's just something that you just didn't want to pay attention to. You're like, you know, I don't want to pay attention to this right now. I just want to try to have fun. I don't want to think about these stupid feelings because they stress me the fuck out. It's not good. It's not a good time. I don't want to know. But here, you do know. You're like, I don't want to know, but somehow you do know because you're smart. And it's like, you know, you can't unknow things that you know. You, you know, you're just, you're just smart. You know, you, you figure things out. It, you can't help it. And it just makes you feel bad. It makes you feel sad. It makes you feel bad knowing this. I don't know what it is, but okay. Let's see your person. Your person's incoming energy for you this weekend. person. So you want to come out? Maybe? So weird. Oh, there we go. Judgment. The Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. So this is their energy towards you. Oh, Six of Cups. Ah, uh, they're reminiscing about you. They're reminiscing about... So they're thinking about the past here. They're being very nostalgic here this weekend. This is their energy towards you, but it's confusing them. They're confused. They're like, why am I thinking about these things? Why am I thinking about Aries? Yeah, they're kind of like stopped in their tracks here. Like whatever path they were on this weekend, it's like something is stopping them in their tracks in, it's probably the universe to be honest, and making them think of you. Um, think about the past here with you and they don't even really know why. <laughs> They don't know why they're thinking about you. They don't know why they're being reminded here of you. But I'm going to tell you, it is the universe. It is the universe that's come a-calling here to your person. The universe is like, hey, Aries person. Remember Aries? Remember the stuff that happened with Aries? Because, you know, I kind of want you to do something about this. Sort of. It's like they're confused because the universe is giving them signs here and they're giving them signs here because the universe wants this person to give to this connection this, they want your person yes to do something here to give something give time give energy give something to to give something to you aries the universe wants it i don't know if they will but this is what the universe wants. The universe is trying to get your person's attention here. But your uni your universe, your person is like, I don't understand. Why? Why? Why 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 is the universe bugging me? Why why is the universe blowing up my phone? You know, the you know, proverbial phone of your person. You're like, I why? Okay. Um I don't know. Let's see here. Let's get Potential outcome here for you, Aries. 
with this situation here. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man, the Fool in Reverse, <laughs> there's the Three of Swords in Reverse, um, and the Nine of Wands in Reverse. Oh, the potential outcome here, I mean overall, it's going to be kind of tense, it's going to be kind of a struggle here, um, not going to lie. Um, what's going to be a struggle? It's going to be a struggle because I don't feel like anybody's doing anything. Um, uh, your person. The universe is trying, okay, Aries? The universe is trying to give your person signals here, to give them a message here, to get them off their ass, but I don't think that they are. I feel like, you know, they're trying, they're playing things safe here. Um... They're not doing anything because they want to play things safe here. Uh, because they... Mm, there is a bit of a self-sacrificing energy here with the hanged man. You know, somebody who is like sacrificing themselves here because of the pain that they feel. I feel this is a little bit of you because your energy is here with the three of swords. Um that you may be sacrificing yourself here um you know you're like i'm just gonna be in this pain here i feel like this is a little bit of you maybe you're not taking a risk here this weekend because of this pain here you know it's too it's it's very difficult you know it's a struggle i do wonder i'm gonna i'm gonna check something here for Ari you aries because this is interesting I want to know about this fool card. So, like, let's say you did take a risk here, because I feel like you're not. But let's just say, let's just say, Aries, you did take a risk here. What would happen here if you did take a risk? I don't know what it is. I don't know what you're risking. But, you know, if you come across this weekend, instead of playing it safe, and you, take, and you took a risk, what would happen? Page of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Page of Wands in reverse, with the Seven of Swords in reverse. <laughs> so if you took a risk, um, you're gonna get caught for one. Um, so you're you're gonna get caught doing yeah, you're gonna get caught doing it. Um, I can't really tell you if this is good or bad. I almost feel like you're gonna get caught before you can even say anything. Yeah, um, hmm, pages, pages, knight of swords, page of swords, <sighs> if you took a risk this weekend, Aries, I do feel like you, <laughs> okay, yeah, you are going to get caught and you probably will be able to say now that i see that the knight and page of swords are out here you probably will get out what you want to get out but it's not going to lead to anything something isn't going to start here um and it's probably not even going to come out the way that you want it to come out it's going to come out very disappointing for you or you're going to be disappointed by the reply that you get here uh if, if it if the risk involves you know you know what what the reaction would be you're going to be disappointed by the reaction and I don't think like yeah you are gonna get it out but it's not yeah it's not gonna come out the way that you want it to come out it's not gonna yeah and it's not gonna lead to anything really starting here so perhaps perhaps spirit knows what's talking about here to maybe play things safe I don't know it's up to you you know 
free will and all that you know it's difficult anyways that's your reading um aries uh thanks for watching uh good luck this weekend take care and i will talk to you later bye hey taurus let's see what's going on for you this weekend here in the current energies Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Strength in reverse, Overall Energy, Two of Swords. I, I, so your overall energy, Taurus, is this weekend you kind of feel like you have a decision to make here. Um, you're kind of like not really sure which way you want to go here. I mean, it's something you, you know, like you know the choices that you have. Um, you're just kind of like you know, you're not sure, like you haven't made your decision, I should say. I think you know which one you would rather choose, um, but you haven't actually made the choice yet. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a, like, I don't know, it's like you don't really know what would make you satisfied. You don't really know what you want. That's the thing. So you have choices. You know what your choices are. You know probably what you would prefer, but you're not sure, like, will that choice satisfy me? I don't know. So you ha you're kind of stopped at a crossroads here this weekend. Um, your incoming energy here is, it's, you know, it stops you in your tracks. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, not making this decision here, it kind of stops you from really moving forward here um, with anything here in your life um, because you have to you have to do something you have to take some sort of action here um, because uh, you're not feeling very self-confident here in what you choose it almost feels to me like it's like you know you have to make a choice and you have to stick with it and you're just not very confident if the choice that you make is what would satisfy you if it's going to be you know the one you want it can be anything it doesn't have to be with people it probably is but sorry my voice cracked it probably is but it can be i don't know just like choosing between like you can only go to one restaurant this weekend so which one do you want to go to and you don't want to pick wrong because you don't want to go to one and it sucks and you spend all that time and that money and it's just not good. It's not satisfying. It doesn't, you know, maybe you're picky, a picky eater. I don't know. Um, but you, so it's like, but the, the choice is on you. And that's the problem here because you don't feel very confident here in your, in what you want to do. So you have to get that confidence to be able to make a choice. To, so when you make this choice, you feel like, you know, this is the choice that I want to make. I'm sure of it, but you're not sure. That's the thing. That's the problem. Is you're not sure okay so what's the incoming energy for your person okay card just flies out king of pentacles in reverse two of cups and the knight of pentacles in reverse interesting their overall energy four swords oh they haven't been talking they've been oh yeah they have not they fucked up they fucked up so they've been kind of quiet yeah page of cups they did something that was like kind of immature you know the their emotions got the better of them and they said or did something that was not very nice they kind of fucked up like look, look how this bear saw this panda is on top of this one he's like stop stop get off of me like yeah no like it was immature and they did it out of emotions here and that's why they've been kind of quiet <laughs> their energy here is like i'm being kind of quiet because i fucked up this person wants to apologize they want to come towards you they want to reconcile here because it's no fun look, look it's no fun it's no fun being away from taurus here you know they it almost feels like disappointment here that they've disappointed you but also like 
it's it's because you know they kind of want stability again back they want you know they kind of they kind of want to make things right again but more like you know even for themselves they want things to be right again with you because they don't like in being in this sort of stagnant standstill energy there is a bit of stubbornness here um that maybe they haven't been talking to you because of themselves you know they're like they might come back with an apology and be kind of like i'm sorry like <laughs> it might come off that way um but you know it is because they just kind of want to make things right here you know they they want stability here again <sighs> yeah they were just being immature okay um Let's see what the potential outcome here for this weekend for you, Taurus. in reverse the fool and the hierophant overall energy again okay so this is your person four of swords the quietness the, the quietness so overall i do feel like the quietness is kind of continuing here so this i feel like this is your person who wants wants to apologize wants reconciliation here um they are quite stubborn here so that would explain why it might not come in here um because it does seem overall that there is silence here the silence here might actually cause you to take a risk to be honest um the silence here might be you doing something here starting something here um because you miss this person the ace of cups is to me feels like i miss you i miss you know the routine uh the hierophant is like something that you know is tradition you know things on routine it's like okay you miss the routine with this person you miss perhaps this is somebody who you talk to every day um you have some sort of routine with them you know you talk to them every day you know you have um something you do um all the time maybe every day you watch some sort of show together you watch an episode of I don't know something whatever <laughs> I don't know you do something every day or you play a game with them every day or there's just something that you do that's quite routine with this person and you miss it you miss it so it, it I mean it might be that you're just kind of like I'm tired of the silence and you might actually take the risk and come towards this person and be like hey you know I miss you I miss all this this is ridiculous I mean it can be them too it can be their energy as well that they could get tired of the, t the the silence as well and they might come towards you for those reasons okay taurus that's your reading um thanks for watching uh take care this weekend and good luck and i will talk to you later bye all right gemini let's see what's going on for you this weekend in the current energies Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Overall, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, overall, you kind of feel like you're wasting your time here. There's a weekend. You feel like something's a big waste of time this weekend. Ooh, something that's just suddenly has happened this weekend. You're like, this is a big fucking waste of time. I don't know what this is. This is just some sudden change this weekend. It can be that your plans get suddenly changed. Um, maybe you had plans to do something. Um, let's see here. 
Oh yeah, two of pentacles. So this can be you were trying to balance things out or trying to balance something out. Something fell through here and then suddenly there was a big change going on and you just felt like, you just feel like this big change, whatever this is, is a big fucking waste of time. Okay, possibly. That's why I feel like it can be just plans because it's two of pentacles. It can be like daily things, life. Um, your main energy here. I do feel like you're moving forward though. Um, this weekend you're moving forward quite quickly here because there's something here that's dependable. This can be you, this can be somebody else, you know, that is very, has a very dependable, reliable energy here because this person, hmm, hmm, there's something about that. I just want to check something with that. I don't normally check, but sometimes, sometimes I have to. I mean, this can be you, Gemini, or this can be, I, I do feel it's more you. It's like, okay, you might even just even be communicating or talking because you're somebody who is like, okay, it's like you almost have another plan. <laughs> like, like if plans went through, it's like you had another plan here because it's like you almost felt like, you know, you, you made some sort of assumption here. It's like you almost knew that something would happen even though it's sudden and it comes out of nowhere it's like this is just who you are you're just somebody who plans for the worst i mean there's that energy here you know this is just like okay well i'm gonna move forward with my plans anyway so even though you feel like something is a waste of time you're still gonna move forward here um because you're just somebody who people rely on people who depend on you know especially in situations that you know are tense here so i i mean i feel like you're just a problem solver to be honest um like not necessarily like that you use your brain it's more you use your resources like you always have something in your back pocket here you know some sort of plan b kind of thing here i mean it's good energy to have gemini um am i taking that one let's see the energy of your person the incoming energy of your person Six of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in the world, and their overall energy, we have the King of Pentacles. This person's like the opposite of this King, Knight of Pentacles. This person's not reliable at all. Um, this person just kind of wants the best. Um, it can be a little bit of a problem that this person, like, they're kind of picky. I get like a picky energy here. Hmm. Like, I feel here like somebody was, it's like they were, it almost feels like they hurt somebody else's feelings here. Like they hurt, somebody's feelings were hurt. Because they're just like, thank you, next, moving on. Because this person's picky. It just feels like I get a pickiness energy here. Like here, even with the four pentacles, this possessive energy you know, very pentacle, pentacle based here. Even here in their energy, lots of pentacles. This person cares a lot about material things, you know, status and things like that. You know, I feel like they hurt somebody else here. I don't even feel like this is them. It can be them, but I feel like their selfishness here hurt somebody else here and they walked away and they were fine with walking away here because they were just being really picky. I don't know about this person. Their pickiness here, they're like, okay, I'm going to try something else. Fine. I'm going to try something else here because I didn't kind of get what I wanted here because I wanted more and I didn't get enough. I wanted more of something. I didn't get enough of something that I wanted here. So I kind of like ended it. I don't feel like this is with you though, Gemini. I feel like this is with somebody else. It's almost like you're watching from like, you know, like from the fishbowl. Like you're just kind of observing this person, you know, hurt somebody else here because they're picky. And if this is resonating with you, then you know that this person like has high standards. It just feels like this person has high standards and they're like, okay, thank you. Next. Let's see what, what, what do you got for me now? Because I didn't get what I wanted there. I didn't get enough. It was too little. It was too little. I wanted more than that. And, um... 
Yeah, I'm moving on. Okay, whatever. Whatever with this person. Let's see what the potential outcome here is for you, Gemini. It can involve this person. It might not involve this person. But what is the potential outcome here for you this weekend? Regardless. <laughs> Jeez. Card falling like all the way across the room. Page of Wands in reverse. Eight of Cups. Moving on. Empress in reverse. Overall energy here. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So there's something here that was kind of sort of confusing. Um... from your past. This is the past. Something in the past that was kind of confusing, but now it's like you kind of understand in a way. It's like now you, you know, you're being honest with yourself about something from the past here that had confused you, um, that you weren't sure of, you know, that you're like, are they just pulling the wool over my eyes here? So now you're being honest with yourself here. And this, this is the overall energy. So you're moving on from a situation here with the eight of cups you're moving on i feel like you're not even gonna say anything here you're like i'm moving on i'm not even gonna like i'm just not even gonna say anything i'm not gonna start anything here because it's almost like i don't care the empress in reverse is like i don't care anymore um it just it's just it's, it's just an energy of like i just i don't even care enough to really even say anything about the situation i'm just moving on it can be about this person it can be about this situation up here um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly. You know, you'll figure that out, Gemini, because, you know, you, you're pretty smart. <laughs> okay, so that's your reading. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you, you know, <laughs> I'm so, like, in autopilot mode sometimes. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Good luck this weekend. Take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend. And the current energies. I don't think that. That doesn't feel right to me. When I have to think too long about it, then it doesn't feel right. When I have to like question it, I'm like, no, then it's not. Because if I'm doubting myself, then it's not right. Because usually I'm very sure when cards come out. I'm like, yes, those are the ones. Seven of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse. And the Five of Wands. Ooh. Okay. Overall, the Knight of Wands. Uh, uh. What the fuck is this? The fuck is this? So somebody, you, Cancer, uh, I feel like you got really pissed off about something here. Like you let your emotions like overwhelm you. Like there were a lot of emotions here that got you all riled up here and pissed you off here but it's like you didn't even have all the information it's like you got pissed off here and you said something that you probably didn't mean to say that you kind of regret saying here <laughs> and you did it because you just wanted something to happen you just wanted something to happen what the fuck is this okay so your energy here is I want something to happen here. I don't know if you're, you're not, it's not like you're looking for a fight. You just want something to happen here. So your main energy here is like, you want something to happen. Um, because it's like, I don't even know if this is you. I don't even think this is you, but like this Knight of Cups, like what I get from it is somebody is just basically distracting themselves away from you know, their emotions. 
And it can be you. You may be distracting yourself away from your emotions. This feels like, you know, being very like energetic, very actiony. You might even be like just doing things because you want to distract yourself away from something, but probably away from what you said here. Cause I feel like you said something here. Um, that was kind of not good. Um, I feel like it was something that you might have made some sort of assumption. Like it was a bit of like a no, it's a bit of a know-it-all energy. I'm not going to lie. It's like, you thought you knew something here. You thought you were right about something here. Um, when it comes to, and it was just, it was coming from an emotional place, but look, the moon here in reverse, the moon hides things. And when it's in reverse, they're especially in the dark. So how could you know something if you didn't know, you know, like, how do you know something if you didn't know, if you couldn't possibly have known it? So it's like, you basically were talking out of your ass here. And so now you just want to do something. Now you're just like, okay, I just want to like do something and kind of like distract myself away from that shit here um because you got caught you got caught saying shit you got caught talking out of your ass here and it caused some conflicts here you know you kind of started an argument here now the thing is i don't feel like it was a big deal this is just a five of wands five of wands is very small energy very small conflicting energy here i mean it could it just could have been just something stupid like i don't know like you said something that you thought was facts and turns out was completely wrong like just something stupid like I, I i don't know like like where you thought how something was made or where something came from um but you like aren't an expert in that and you don't know anything about it but you were just kind of talking out your ass about it and you got caught somebody pointed it out to you and now you just kind of want to like distract yourself away from it this is the energy for this weekend. Fair enough. So the energy coming towards you from your person. So what's their energy like towards you for this weekend? The Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and their overall energy and the knight of swords what was what, the both of you like seriously the both of you what is going on here look at his face is it gonna adjust does this panda's face i don't know if it will it's being difficult here it doesn't matter you can kind of see he's all like Rawr. and this is just because he wants to say something your person is dying to say something here Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is like, they've been dreaming about this. They've been yearning, yearning to say something here, you know, because they feel like they can't move on until they do this. Like they feel like they cannot move on. They can't, you know, I don't even know if they want to move on to be honest, but they, they feel like they can't go anywhere that, you know, until they kind of like, it's an ego thing. I, I will say that. This is a whole ego thing. It's like, I got to say my say because I need to make sure that cancer knows. Knows what I want. Okay. So. They're like, I need to tell you something. I need to say something to you. Um, and that's, you know, that's what's driving this energy. This nine of pentacles in reverse. It's like, I can't do what I want until I tell you because I fucking want to be with you but I don't fucking know how <laughs> that's what it is that's exactly what this energy is <sighs> I hope it doesn't come out that way and I don't even know if they will say it to you this is all a big I want to I want to I want to but you know does this panda does this king of wands does he have the balls usually he does I will say um but I don't know. There's this eight of cups here in reverse. This is a stuck, this is, can be a stuck energy, but this is moving forward. This is like, ah, screaming from the rooftops. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it feels like you're just going on two separate journeys right now. Um, let's see here. What's, what's the potential outcome here for you, Cancer, this weekend? In the current energies, you know, nothing changes here. Oh, 
Okay, Page of Wands. That time it's upright. The lovers in reverse. Okay, maybe communication problems here. Seven of Wands in reverse. Uh, and then we have death in reverse. Uh, so, the overall energy here is that this has been put on hold for some time. Not like a long time, but it has been. Um, the energy here is that there is a pause here. A pause here that's causing all sorts of problems in this connection between the two of you. Um, surprisingly, the potential outcome here is about the two of you, even though both your energies seem to be not really connected. Well, your energy isn't really that connected. Maybe. I mean, maybe the thing that you said was to this person, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels kind of separate, to be honest. Um, but their energy is towards you. Um, yeah, uh, the connection, the connection, the communication between the two of you sucks. Clearly, clearly it sucks. Um, because it's just a page, like, it's very immature communication here. Um, it's like, the communication sucks here because you guys don't, like, talk in I don't even know how you talk it's just the, t the talking isn't that great um it can even be that maybe you're more fo focused on sexual activities here with each other and you don't really talk a lot here um because we have the seven of wands here it can that be that maybe one of you or both of you gets really defensive as well and you know maybe you've both got your walls up you both got your guard up and it makes it difficult to really communicate in this connection here um, so yeah, I mean, if I'm saying things that you're like, yeah, well, that's the way it's been. I'm like, well, yes, here with death in reverse, it's continuing to be that way because it's stopped, you know, it's a temporary pause here, you know, and that pause has to do with this, you know, the page of cups and the six of pentacles in reverse. It's like not giving enough and not giving enough here. Um, and it's just, it's just a little page, you know, not giving enough really emotions here. You know, you just end up giving just a small amount of how you feel or how they feel. And it, you know, it stops things. Thing, it's like, I, I mean, it's not over. I don't feel like either one of you thinks that it's over. It's just temporarily paused. There's just a temporary stagnation here in this connection because you can't communicate you have horrible communication that's why you feel here with your person your person's just like i want to tell you something because you know i want to tell you something i can't do what i want to do because i need to tell you something here because i want to be together here with you i just don't know how to do it you're like, I, so that's why I'm like, I want to tell you, but I don't really know how. Like, I, I really want to. Uh, okay. Great. Wonderful. Um, I don't really see, like, it's like, there's an energy of wanting and there's an energy of movement, but with the death card in reverse and the lovers in reverse, I don't think that there is. I don't think that it's going to happen this weekend. I think that there's too many obstacles here in energy. There's too many energetic obstacles here for this, this weekend. I don't know, maybe later, or maybe the energy changes. I don't know. Anyways, that's your reading, Cancer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, good luck this weekend. Take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend. The current energies. Death? Hey, you can't even really see it. Death. King of Cups in reverse. The Three of Wands. Overall energy, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Uh. 
Oh. So, this energy is like, you did something or said something, and you didn't even really think about it. You just followed your instincts here because you were feeling it. You know, that's good for you, Leo. You were, you know, you felt drawn to something here. You followed your instincts. You didn't even like really think about it, and you just did something here. Um, that's your overall energy. Now, the thing is, is that it kind of, um, this, it's, it led a little bit to this King of Cups energy, which is, you know, feeling kind of emotionally out of control here. Um, this can be feeling kind of upset, you know, it can be feeling, um, like you can't control your emotions. Um... It can also be like you feel like you've had to like take on the burdens of other people's problems here um, because there's something here <laughs> I just noticed this panda underneath <laughs> he's sitting on top of him <laughs> there's something here that um, is changing here there's something that's changing here um, because you know, you're looking towards the future because you expected it to change, basically. Something's changing here that you expected to change. It doesn't make it less upsetting, though. And I feel like it is upsetting, whatever this change is. And it almost feels like you just said something because you felt like, you know, I should say it. It just, you know... Yeah, see, there's something ending here. The Ten of Swords... You know, something that has been difficult is ending here and you felt called to just say something about it. You know, I'm going to say something about it. Here's my chance. Here's my opportunity. I'm going to say something about it. But it does, it is upsetting either for you or for other people. I don't know, but it's almost like it needed to be said. I needed to say this because, you know, I'm not going to get this opportunity again to say it. So I'm going to say it now. Interesting. Okay, Leo. What's the incoming energy of your person towards you? The Nine of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Their overall energy, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. So their overall energy, something's not really going really well in their life here. Um, there could have been some sort of failure here. Okay, so they tried to start something here. They tried to make something happen. It didn't work out. And now, you know, their life is being kind of disrupted here. But I feel like they're going to try something new. This person, this person is just like, okay, that didn't work out. Well, you know, I got a new idea. I got, I got a better idea here um, because they've had some sort of, they've been thinking about it and they figured it out. They figured out some way out. They figured it out because this person's very good at balancing shit in their life. They're very good at recovering and balancing things and finding a balance in their life. So good for this person, I guess. What's the potential outcome here for you, Leo? What's the potential outcome here? Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the King of Swords in reverse as the overall energy. I feel like the potential outcome here for you, Leo, is, so the overall energy, I'm trying to like, how do I word this? Because there's a lot of people here. Um, I mean, ultimately, I think that you're just going to keep to yourself here. It's like, this is like the energy of like, I know I have a big mouth <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> the knight, or the king of swords in reverse, it's like maybe it's like knowing or yeah I mean it kind of just feels that way it's like yeah I know 
I have a big mouth. Maybe I kind of said things, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I went a little too far here in what I said. That's what it feels like. I, maybe I went a little too far here in what I said here. So I'm going to kind of keep it to myself, um, here, think about it. Um, because the page of pentacles, uh, it can be because you you want to learn how to sort of take care of yourself a little more here, learn how to improve yourself here, learn how to be a little bit more mature. I'm sorry, I don't mean to call you immature, Leo. I'm just reading the energy. Um, okay. You know what I'm getting? It's really weird. Okay, I know she's not moving. I'll have to figure that out. I'm sorry, Leo. This is, I'll have to figure out the VTuber for the next sign. I'm getting something like some sort of like a celebration or like a graduation or some sort of like ceremony or something. And you're just like, this is the, like, I'm not going to see these people again. So I might as well like say what I want to say now, even though it's a, it might upset people. But I need to say it now because I'm not going to see these people ever again. And then now, and then like the potential outcome is like kind of taking some time to yourself, reflecting on like, yeah, why did I do that? Um, I should really like know better and I should, you know, be more mature and be a better person. <laughs> and that's kind of what it feels like. Um, all right. Um, that's your reading, Leo, for this weekend. Um, good luck this weekend. Take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you this weekend and the current energies. And the Fool. The King of Pentacles. <coughs> Sorry, the Page of... Wow. Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, me dying. That's fine. <laughs> With the overall energy of the Three of Cups. Okay, Virgo, your overall energy here seems to be you're just looking to have a good time here. Yeah, you just want things to be peaceful. Things are pretty calm right now. <laughs> wow. Wish I was in your energy, Virgo. You have this energy of, you know, I'm just doing whatever the fuck I want to do. You know, I'm just relaxing. Things are calm. I'm just having a good time. It's nice. It's nice energy, Virgo. Having a good time here. And, you know, that makes you feel great. This is like, I feel like a million bucks here because I don't have any worries. I'm just kind of you know, doing my thing, starting off on my journey. Now, here's the thing. You don't, you, you do feel great. You know, you feel like things are going good for you. Like you're being very, you know, you're, I'm successful. Look at, look at all this bamboo that I got here. You're like, I'm the fucking man. You know, you don't have to be a man. It's just fucking king. It's masculine energy here. You could be a man, woman, whatever. But it's like, I am doing great. I have all the things things that I need here because I'm starting on a new path, a new cycle, a new journey here because there you have some sort of dream or fantasy here. You're, there's something that you have been dreaming about, you've been fantasizing about, and it's like you're taking those first steps on whatever this dream, whatever this path is because you're like, you're feeling really good here. You know, there's Things are going your way. Yeah, look, you've even you've even gotten through some of your demons here, which is great. You know, you've learned some things. You've 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 cut out something that has been holding you back, and that is why you are just feeling good in the neighborhood. It's nice. It's nice energy. Okay. What's your person's energy towards you? A Virgo.
<laughs> really? Um, no, we're not doing this. This is a gazillion cards. We are not doing that. Thank you. Okay, Ace of Wands. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, these two want to come out fine. Judgment in reverse, Nine of Pentacles. Their overall energy, Ten of Wands in reverse. Hmm, your person's overall energy here is not as happy as yours is. Um, they feel overwhelmed here because I feel like this almost feels like bullied in a sense. Um, they're not very happy here. They're not happy because it's like somebody is kind of messing with them basically somebody's messing with them and it's very overwhelming for this person um they don't really even know how to deal with it to be honest like they're the ten of wands like it's a big burden for them you know there's just somebody here that's messing with them and it's not it's not good it's not good um so they're feeling overwhelmed by this energy here and that overwhelmed feeling leads to this eight of pentacles. It's like they feel like it doesn't matter what they do. You know, they tried, they've tried. they they've tried to fix it. You know, they've tried to work things out here, but it hasn't worked out here. Um, they just feel like they have, they're, they're, they're not doing enough. It's either they feel like they're not doing enough or they've tried everything. It almost, yeah, it just feels like I've tried everything here. Um, Except there's one thing. I don't know. They've tried everything. Uh, it, it's like... Mm, yeah, they've tried everything. Even like... You know, they've tried... They've, they've tried new things here. Um, but it's just not working out. They feel overwhelmed. They feel overworked. Because there's something here that is new. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Something is new. Why is it new? There's something new here. Now, this wanted to come out with it. And I think that, yeah, there's a reason why these two wanted to come out together. So there's something new here that, yes, it is. It is something leisurely for them. You know, it is like allowing them to sort of check some of these wants here. You know, it is satisfying some sort of need here in a material sense, but at the same time, they feel like, they feel, they feel a lot of regret. It's almost like they feel bad for indulging in whatever this is. So there's something new here that, you know, that they're attracted to here um, that they are indulging in, but they feel bad almost for indulging in it. Like they have a sense of like, I, you know, I don't really almost like they feel like they don't even deserve it or yeah, it, it, yeah. I kind of just want to like clarify this ace of wands. Because I don't really, it's confusing me. I just want to know about this Ace of Wands. Yeah, don't give me a zillion cards. Oh, thanks, it gave me the Ten of Wands again. I can't reach. It gave me the Ten of Wands again. Um, okay. Oh, Three of Cups. It might have to do with your energy here. It might have to do with your feeling good energy here. Uh, you socializing and having a good time here. That actually can be what is overwhelming for them. Okay, it's like they wish that they could have a good time. They wish that they could be having a good time here, but they can't. They feel overwhelmed. They feel overwhelmed. Uh... It's like they've tried everything. They've worked very hard here and tried everything, but it's like it's overwhelming for them. 
Hmm, because there's something here that, you know, that they want to start here. There's some fresh start that they want here, but they because they feel like they're getting left behind. This can be your energy. This can be that they feel like you they feel like you're leaving them behind. That's also what's here. Now that I'm seeing this a little bit more clear. I mean, yes, the other things can apply as well. I think that they are also ha indulging in something here that they do feel some sort of remorse, but I feel like also they see that you're having a good time here and they feel bad. You know, they feel like you're leaving them behind and they've tried. They've tried to sort of like work on things or maybe they, they feel like they haven't been putting enough effort in. Okay. Let's see what the potential outcome is here for you, Virgo. What's the potential outcome here? man in reverse uh four of wands in reverse and the devil in reverse king of cups okay so your overall energy here is the king of cups you are keeping things to yourself here but also i feel like you are you're being understanding here i feel like there is a bit there is compassion here um Three of Pentacles in reverse. The overall energy, it just feels like you're not working on this together. And, you know, that's not, that doesn't make anybody happy in this situation here. And when, you know, when people aren't happy, yeah, they tend to not feel very confident in themselves here. And when they don't feel confident in themselves here, you know, they keep their emotions to themselves. They keep it inside here. So I do feel um, some of your confidence level may drop here um, a little bit here. And that might disrupt your life. It feels that your life may get disrupted here because you might feel stuck here. Um, because there's some sort of temptation here. Um uh there's something that you've kind of whatever it was that you have gotten past um whatever was holding you back some sort of addiction or obsession that you had possibly it was with this person um you know when you've pushed that down it's like you were able to sort of you know feel better and kind of like you know how you know just do your own thing and be your own person and I kind of feel bad because I don't think it was the reading to be honest I just feel eventually you were going to feel this energy anyways whether whether you saw the reading or not because it's almost feels like all this energy feels like knowing that this person is not really doing that great and feeling like you're leaving them behind you know is kind of feels like where this is coming from why it's going to disrupt your life here why you're going to feel stuck here and the temptation here it's like tempt tempting to sort of maybe reach out to this person go back to this person in some way um here because this person you know there's they are struggling with the ten of wands in reverse they're they're struggling they're not able to get over whatever issues are going on here and they do you know, they're, they've been working very hard here to get this fresh start, this new start here, because they just feel like you're leaving them behind. 
Okay. Um, that's your reading, Virgo. I know it was a little all over the place. Uh, we get there eventually. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck this weekend. Take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye. All right, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend. Some current energies. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that sound was. I don't know what any of that was. Don't mind me. of swords, five of swords, page of cups, hmm. overall energy, five of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. You may feel like you've lost something, Libra, but it's like, not really. It's, it's like, it almost feels like a temporary loss. It's like, okay, so I've lost this, but I know I can get it back. Yeah, it does feel like you're just kind of keeping an eye on it. It's like almost like you've let it go. But you're like, I'm going to keep an eye on it. I want to watch and observe whatever it is. I'm going to keep an eye on it. But it does feel like you can get it back at a later time here. But losing this, you know, it's causing this Five of Swords energy. I almost feel like it's a bit of a self-sabotaging energy here for you, Libra. It's like you're letting something go here. Um, it's like because you know some truth here. So you're like, you've let something go. Because like, how do I explain this? It's not really like, you might think that it's a sacrificing energy here, but it's kind of the opposite. It's, it's... Yeah. I don't feel like you needed to let it go. That's the thing. I don't really feel like this was something you had to let go here. I just feel like you you pulled back. Like, you know, you took it back. You know, whatever it was. It's like, whatever. I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm trying to, like, get my thoughts straight. And maybe this is how you are because right now. Because it's not, I'm having a hard time getting my thoughts straight here with you because I don't understand why you would do this like I don't understand why the energy would be like this because it makes no sense to me which is weird for a Libra but it's it does feel like you know you did this to yourself you let something go and it's almost like well why did you do that you know that was a mistake you shouldn't have done that even though you're like you let it go thinking that oh I can get it back I'm like yeah you can get it back but it's like why didn't you let it go in the first place? It almost felt like you didn't have to do that. And that was kind of a mistake. And it's like, you know now. It's like with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups, you know that was kind of a dumb thing to do. You know that was an immature thing to do. And you know that maybe you should apologize. Because the Page of Cups can be a card of an apology too. Man, I feel like I need to apologize for dipping my toe in this energy weird it doesn't make any sense okay what's your person maybe your person is thinking a little more clear <laughs> jeez i'm sorry libra but sometimes you know people get in energies and they get in weird moods and like that was not pleasant what's your person's energy like towards you Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, 
Hmm. The Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Overall, Four of Swords. So this person's been kind of quiet. They're taking a break here. Oh, okay. Is this the way I... Okay, I see now. I see now. I see now. I see you, Libra. Uh-huh. So, you let this person go. This is what you let go. This is what you're like, I let this go. It's like, if I, you know, what's that saying? With the bird, you know, if you set it free, it'll, if it was meant to be, it'll fly back to you, or whatever that stupid saying is. So you let this person go, thinking, oh, they'll come back to me. But what this person thought was, okay, well, I guess, I'll, you know, this is a time for me to take a break. You know, Libra let me go, so I'm going to take a break. I'm going to use this time. I'm going to take a break. I, you know, I see why you're like, shit, that was a mistake. I, sh I know now and I should apologize because this person is, has gone quiet on you. Silent. Silent on you. Libra. And, you know, while they've been taking a break, to be honest, um, Ten of Pentacles, they're fine. This person has been fine. In fact, they've been more than fine, to be honest. Um, this person has been thriving. This person has been growing. They've got, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. This is the ultimate security. You know, this person has been healing. They've been taking a break here. And in this silence, in this break, they've really kind of grown something here. They've, you know, I'm just so drawn to all the Ten of Pentacles here. They have so much growth here so much around them so much stability so much security here you know it, it you know it's really good it's really good energy here you know because they decided to try something new they tried something new that they've been wanting to try for a while so they went to try something new that they've been kind of like you know they had everything but you know they hadn't really done it um and they tried something new and it worked out tenfold for this person. I see why you're like, I shit, I made a mistake. Oh, Libra, you may have shit the bed on this one. Okay, let's see what the potential outcome here is. What's the potential outcome for Libra? I mean, this is only for the weekend. It's probably nothing like super big here. It can just be like missing out on something, like going out somewhere. And then they decide, okay, I'll try something new. And then they went and tried something new and it was like amazing. And they were, and yeah, it's like they found their people or something. Like, <laughs> that's the thing. That's what it feels like. It, it feels like the energy of this person. Um, I don't know, maybe you were supposed to go out somewhere. Maybe you flaked out on them. And they're like, okay, well, Libra doesn't want to go out there. So, you know, I've been wanting to try this new place. So I'm going to try it. And then they tried it and it was amazing. Okay. What's the potential outcome here for you, Libra? The fool in reverse? Oh uh, yeah, I would call you a fool. <laughs> the king of wands, sorry, and the three of wands. Uh, overall energy, what is this? Oh, it's the four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, your overall energy here is, it's mine, it's mine, it's nobody else's, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's what I want. It's mine, I want it. It's mine, I'm going to... Um, yeah, you're going to get it. Um, I'm going to check something with this king here. It's a different king. Yeah, okay, fine. You're going to, you're going to figure out or you're going to do something here to get what you think is yours. What's mine? What's mine? What's yours? Because you've been acting foolish here because you're pretending like you didn't care. Um, but you, you, instead you were just kind of watching from afar. You watch, it's like you let this person go, like, it feels like you kind of 
broke plans with somebody here and then you kind of stalked them on social media to see what was going on and you thought that you know that they were going to be upset that you kind of whatever broke plans with them but instead what you found was this person was having a great time here and you're like fuck i made a mistake you know it's that <laughs> what's his name job from arrested development like from arrested development you know i've made a huge mistake that's what i feel your energy is this weekend libra and you're going to try to fix it in some way here because you're like you're jealous i mean this is a jealous egg. yeah look at the fucking tower here dude this is a sudden change. You did not expect this to happen. You did not expect this person to be in the Ten of Pentacles. This is a sudden change for you and it's causing, you know, this is you figuring things out. The Nine of Swords, you know, something that had been on your mind, figuring it out. Big fucking change comes around here with the Tower and that leads to this really like possessive, jealous type of energy here. And you're like, okay, well, I, 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 you know, I, I want something here. You know, the King of Wands can be very arrogant as well, but you know, it's very charming. You're, it's like, you're going to turn on the charm here with this person, you know, you're going to do whatever it takes to charm this person because you're like, I pretended like I didn't care. I mean, okay. I, I hope for your sake, Libra, that you can be very charming and that, you can charm the pants off this person um because i don't like yeah i do feel like you might apologize still but i feel like you're going to entice them this is your move your move is like look at what i have being kind of a show off <laughs> i mean if it works it works right it could be like look how big my wand is <laughs> i guess i don't know all right libra um that's your reading for this weekend um thanks for watching uh good luck this weekend <laughs> take care and i'll talk to you later bye hey scorpio Let's see what's going on for you this weekend in the current energies So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Oh, two Aces. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. It's just surprising. Um, okay, overall energy, Seven of Cups in reverse. Mm, I feel like you're confused about something. Something like there's, there's an energy of confusion of not really knowing what's real, what's not real. I'm very conflicted. It, it's causing conflict here. Mm, okay, so with just why are these pandas so fat, dude? Like, I didn't even realize like they're so these are big pandas. These are like sumo sized pandas. <laughs> so I feel like you're very conflicted here on what is right, what is right for you, what is right morally, what is right ethically. There's a lot of like you know, going back and forth, arguing with yourself in your head, what's right, what's wrong, because you're not really sure really what is right, what is wrong. It's like you don't even really know 
like like there are different cups here you know there's different things but different choices different options and it's like you're not even sure of which options are the right options which options are like the morally right options which ones it's just fantasy which ones are just like just lies and deception you're very confused here in your energy and this confusion is making you think to the past you know you're trying to kind of sort through these these um this confusion the illusions of the confusions by maybe thinking okay well maybe if i look in the past you know maybe if i look you know back in my memories and my experiences here that maybe you might find something here because you know you you do want to figure this out you it's like this is a fresh start this is a reset it's like maybe if i look to the past i might find something that can I can press the reset button here you know the reset button having fresh start here and just start over again <laughs> okay I mean it's valid um, you know looking to the past to find some sort of inspiration here to find a new opportunity it's like thinking well maybe if I look in my memories maybe the, you know something will stir up in me and I'll be able to be things will become a little more clear less you know confusing Okay, so what's the incoming energy like towards you, Scorpio, for this weekend in the current energies? <laughs> Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse. Ooh, the tower your person there's something going on with them just something has suddenly happened to this person that has made them change the way that they think about things hmm there's something to do with something that they didn't want to move on from or something that they couldn't move on from um so they instead they had to try to find a balance here in their life ah uh, so it's like you know what it feels like um i'm just gonna put this example out there so let's say this person had somebody else here but you know they're like well i can't leave this person um but you know i want to go towards scorpio here so i'm just gonna try to balance the two of them out you know i'm just gonna try to like spend some time with one person spend some time with another person but then that blew up in their face I don't know if this is the situation or not I'm not psychic but you know it's something similar to that it doesn't have to be two people it's two things though it's like I can't let go of one thing because I just can't I I, I, I don't feel like I can let this go it can be anything it can be like you know something that you want to spend time doing like I can't let go playing World of Warcraft because I just can't let go playing it but I also want to play, I, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of things. <laughs> I also want to play something else that takes up a lot of time. Um, what takes up a lot of time? I don't know, Final Fantasy Online? another uh, this is like probably doesn't make any sense just something that takes up a lot of time it's like oh i want to continue doing this one thing that takes up a lot of time but then there's this other thing that i want to do that also takes up a lot of time so instead i'm going to try to split my time between the two of them and no it's now it's just going to blow up in my face this can be friends and family or this can be you and friends um or whatever you know it can be perhaps you know they have a friend here uh, a friend or siblings or whatever family that they're very close to that they spend a lot of time with but they also want to spend a lot of time with you and they try to split their time between spending time with you spending time with their friends or family and it just blew up in their face they had this sudden realization i don't know what this realization is but it just suddenly they've had this realization this is where they're at this is where they're at in the current energy here they feel like they've wasted a lot of time with the seven of pentacles here in reverse they feel like they wasted a lot of time here um, because now there are arguments happening here. Arguments because um, they acted like they didn't care about something when they really did. 
So example again, let's take the example that let's say your person is, was trying to balance time between you and time between family, their family, okay? Let's just say, and it blew up in their face. And now they're like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have figured something else out better than whatever this is, because this is only a two. Maybe I should have figured something out better than that, because now I just feel like I wasted all my time doing this because something blew up in my face. And now it's just, it, it's, it's a problem, you know? Now there's, there's fighting here. Now it's not like super, um, serious fighting but it's still you know there's disagreements there's arguments here you know you don't see eye to eye this person doesn't see your side you don't see their side here and you know it's because they were like they were trying to pretend here like that they didn't care when they do care you know they're like well i don't care about that like it's like it's like they tried to not care about one thing like maybe it was their family maybe they tried to be to push their family aside to spend more time with you and they pretended like you know it's fine it doesn't bother me it's okay I'm like well no it did bother them and now it's all coming out i don't know if this is what's going on with you um if this is what's confusing you maybe maybe it's the way this person's been acting is what's been confusing you and you've been trying to kind of look here in your past for some sort of inspiration but let's let's help you out a little bit scorpio and let's get a potential outcome here for you what's the potential outcome here Wheel of Fortune, in reverse, Three of Wands, <laughs> in reverse, the King of Pentacles, in reverse, with the Magician here. Okay, so the overall energy here for you, Scorpio, I do feel like you are going to use the abilities that you have to try to make some sort of plan here. Um, uh, although it's going to take some time you know there are delays here there are setbacks here so it doesn't so you're not going to be able to put this plan into motion here you will be able to figure it out to figure out some sort of idea of what you want to do here you just won't be able to do it here um because it's not your fault there's things happening here um this is external influences external energy here that there's just you, you can't you have setbacks here because of things that are out of your control and they're out of your control here because somebody here is feeling a little entitled here. There's, uh, I don't, this isn't you. This is somebody else. This can be your person. Somebody here wants it all. The King of Pentacles is somebody who wants everything, you know, everything for themselves. I feel like that is your person here. This person wants their cake and eat it too. That's, a, that's the epitome of that energy here. It's not your fault here. There's nothing that you can do about it. Um, so there's just going to be a delay here. But what you can do is that you can plan for things here. Yeah, you can be in your mind and be like, you know what, you can hide. You, <laughs> you, can, you can be like, you know, I'm done with this shit. And I'm going to try to figure something else out here to manifest something else out here. Sure, you know, you can do that. The high priestess here, you can also not even tell anybody about it. Fine, you don't have to tell anybody here. Um, just know that there are some setbacks here and it, there's not really much you can do about that, at least with this energy. Okay, Scorpio, that's your reading. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck this weekend. Take care and I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend. And the current energies here. The Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. Overall energy, the Magician. 
Hmm. So your overall energy here is, yeah, you're feeling kind of confident here that you can do something, that you can make something happen here. Um, you're not entirely clear on how, like the Ace of Swords here, it's like you're, you're not entirely certain, you're not entirely clear about the truth here, but you know, you're, you know, you're kind of like faking the confidence here. You're kind of like, you know, I'm just going to kind of pretend like I know. I'm going to pretend like I know the truth here. And just by kind of faking this confidence and just kind of pretending like you know what's going on here, you're able to kind of find this sort of self-confidence within you to do something here. You're like, I want to do something here. Um, and that is leading to this energy, this four of pentacles. Like, I want to do something here um, because there's something here, like, that you want to protect here uh, or something that, you know, you feel is yours. It's yours to protect here. There's something that you want to protect here because you want to start something here or you feel inspired to start something here because things have kind of stopped because there's some stagnancy here so my like what i see here for you sagittarius your energy here is wanting to make something happen here mostly because it isn't happening so something isn't happening here so you want to start something to happen here and it's something that you feel very possessive about you know you feel like this is mine this is mine and that's where this confidence is coming from it's like it's mine i feel like i can make something happen here because it's mine i hit a lot of mine it's mine it's mine it's mine okay what's the energy of your person towards you what's your person's energy like towards you for in the current energy for this weekend card but I'm not saying anything until the other cards come out so I'm just gonna keep that to myself for now but I took note of it okay ace of pentacles in reverse ace of swords in reverse queen of wands oh there's the queen of wands their overall energy is the Six of Wands. Hmm. Their overall energy here is they want some attention. Okay, they're struggling to get attention here. Hmm. There's a little bit of wanting their cake and eat it too, but they feel like they need to balance between two things here that they're really kind of struggling with and they're struggling to get the attention here that they want. Um, and this is causing them to get kind of confused, you know? The things, again, aren't clear for them either. They're, they're not clear here because they feel like something is moving a little too slow here. Something that they should be starting is moving really slow here um, because Perhaps because they, how would I put this? Because the Queen of Wands, what I'm getting here is the pretending energy. This is somebody who pretends like everything is going well. They're pretending like they're okay here. Um, I don't think they like this this ace of pentacles in reverse this is like something that should be you know something that should be very natural and something you know that they understand it would be slow moving but it's like it's like not even moving at all like so they're kind of confused here there's a, a confusion here like i don't understand why this isn't starting something 
that was starting that was moving along is now just like not like why it, it's not here and I think that maybe it's because I mean this can be your energy as well with the Queen of Wands maybe it's because you're pretending here um, that's very weird I need to get I need I need a card on this this Queen of Wands because I don't understand it this energy No, well, sometimes I need to clarify. Temperance in reverse. Oh, five of swords. Yeah, no, this is a pretending energy that everything's fine, but really, no. No, this person's stressed out. This person's stressed out because they think they're fucking things up. They think that they fucked up, that they did something... And they're stressed out about it. But they're pretending like everything's okay. And this person, they know, they feel like this is why things have stopped. Why there have been a halt here. Why things have kind of slowed down here. And they're confused. Because I don't think they understand either. Like, as much as, like, I'm like, I don't understand this Queen of Wands energy. Your person doesn't understand this Queen of Wands energy. This is your energy. This was you, you know. They don't understand it. Because, like, it's very confusing for them probably because you're pretending you didn't show you haven't shown them how stressed you are and they don't actually under yeah they don't know what the fuck happened <laughs> so you know it's almost like they thought they knew something but they're like i guess i didn't know and i thought things were going fine i thought that you know that there was you know a lot of potential here i thought like things were starting there was a good opportunity here but it's like it's not so what the fuck your energy like i said it's like <laughs> you're just like you know there's something that i want and i'm gonna go after it and i'm gonna make it happen and everything and you're gonna make it happen because you're pretending like but they don't know this they don't know any of this and that's confusing for them okay what's the potential outcome here what's the potential outcome here sagittarius for you in the current energy for this weekend um what oh the what i saw the energy i saw when i was shuffling for your person's energy was the five of pentacles and i felt excluded from your person's side it just felt like they were thinking i feel like i'm being excluded here i feel like i'm being left out and yeah i mean there's a bit of that energy here they just don't understand like it's like you're not including them in your plans here you have plans here you have plans because you're like i have plans this is mine Whatever it is, it can be the uh, the connection, like the a relationship or something. There's something that you feel is yours, and you're like, I have plans that I want to put into place here. Okay, great. Uh, your person doesn't know about this, and your person is hella confused. I'm just saying that. That's the in the current energy. So let's see here. What's the potential outcome? Mm. Nope. <laughs> What's the potential outcome? <laughs> if the cards spill out while I looked away, then no. That's just me being uncoordinated as fuck. But if I'm looking straight at the cards and I pop out and I drop a gazillion things, then no, that was fine. Okay, so we have the devil, we have the world in reverse, we have the knight of wands in reverse, overall we have the star in reverse. Okay, Sagittarius, potential outcome here for you. Um, <laughs> overall, I feel you're losing faith here, um, and that's causing you to feel like there's a repeating cycle here. Yeah, it's like, it's, it, it is a bit of a pessimistic attitude here. It's like, okay, here we go again. I'm not surprised this is happening again. 
I don't know what this is, but it has something to do with you and your hangups here with the devil. This is you. Your negative thoughts are getting into your head here. You know, this is this is pessimistic energy here of like, oh, it's happening again. The world is repeating patterns. It's happening again. And it's just you getting in your head. This is your hangups. This is what holds you back. This is negative thoughts here. Why is it happening again? Oh, because there's no action going on here because nothing is happening because I haven't done anything because they haven't done anything because nothing is happening. <laughs> I don't understand this. It's like you had plans to make something happen, but yes, I didn't see anything moving forward here. Ultimately, I, I saw things getting stuck here. <sighs> Maybe you should do something. I don't know. I want a card on this Knight of Wands. Man, your, your reading is like, for some reason, I just want to know more because it's like, why? <laughs> Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Why? Why? Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? That's all I want to know. Oh, because, because your person's confused. The Ace of Swords in reverse and the Four of Swords in reverse because there's confusion. So why? Why is nothing happening? Because your person is confused. This comes back to here. Nothing is happening because your person doesn't know what the fuck is ha going on here. And you know, it's, it's on their mind. They think about it. Yeah, they think about it. Like... <laughs> Okay, I don't know what else to tell you, Sagittarius. Um, it's up to you at this point. So yeah, that's your reading for this weekend. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck this weekend. Um, take care and I will talk to you later. Bye. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you this weekend. And current energies. Okay, so we have the moon in reverse, temperance in reverse, and the five of pentacles. <sighs> Capricorn, I feel like your, your readings are always so sad. I'm going to be honest. I don't look forward to doing your readings because I know it's just going to be sad. <laughs> sad energy. Your overall energy here is justice in reverse. Things are imbalanced. Things are not fair here. Again, see the hermit. This is being by yourself here, reflecting on feelings here. And these feelings, it's like you feel like these feelings are one-sided. These are one-sided feelings that you're sitting here and reflecting on. This is your overall energy. And, you know, feeling like they're one-sided makes you feel not good. Temperance in reverse. This is stress. It makes you feel stressed out because there are a lot of emotions. This is a lot of anxiety. This is a lot of um, heavy emotions. You know, sadness. Even some form of depression here because you feel left out with the five of pentacles because you feel excluded and it's starting to rain outside ah uh, capricorn and my vtuber okay she is working okay i don't know dude your 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 readings are always just so down like i feel it they're just so negative all right let's see what um, the incoming energy of your person is like 
here. I don't know which way this goes. Okay, it's Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, their overall energy, the magician in reverse. This person doesn't really like, they don't know, like, they can't do anything here. Their overall energy here is they feel like they can't do anything here. Um, the Empress in reverse, they feel like, uh, don't want to like because the empress is in reverse is just somebody who is pulling away their energy here you know this is somebody who you know there's a lack a lack of what well the nine of wands the, the lack of the nine of wands is somebody who is persistent there's a lack of persistency here in this person's overall energy here they feel like you know they can't do anything they, they feel like there's nothing that they can do. Like, I, they just would be like, I can't do anything. You know, the, I mean, they could, I would say, the magician in reverse, they do have the ability to do things here, but they think that they can't. They don't have the competence here to do anything. That is their overall energy here. They can't do anything. And because they can't do anything, you know, that causes them pain. But I will say that the pain is something that they are healing with the three of swords is upright. It, it does cause them pain, but they are healing this pain here because they're getting through the burdens that they have as well. I mean, they have problems here um, in this with you in this connection, but they are figuring their shit out here because with the Page of Pentacles here in reverse, um, yeah, the Page of Pentacles can be somebody who doesn't who lacks um, focus, who lacks motivation here. Um, I do feel that, okay, so they are learning, but they're, you know, it's kind of slow. Um, it's not really in a great way. They don't really have any direction here, but I mean, they are, they do have problems here. They have their own problems here because they, they lack, um, focus and direction here. Um, but I do feel like, you know, they're getting over these problems. There are problems that they can deal with here. And, you know, this Three of Swords, the pain here that they feel towards you, they're healing from that pain. They still feel pain, but it's like there's nothing, they feel like there's nothing they can do about it but heal it. All right, so what is the potential outcome here for you this weekend, Capricorn, in the current energies? Hopefully something nice. I'm hoping for something positive. Okay. Mm, three of Wands. Death in Reverse. And the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Um... We have the overall energy of the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel overall there is a sense of frustration from you. That things didn't work out. That something didn't work out and there is an energy of frustration here. Because you understand. It's almost like you understand why something wasn't successful. You understand why something wasn't successful and there's frustration because of that and the frustration you know is causing this death in reverse of not wanting to change this is a refusal to change things here because you're still looking forward you're still hesitating to move forward here I mean you don't like it's like 
You don't want to let go of something because letting go of something because changing something means you would have to move forward here. But I feel like you don't want to move forward here because you're still in your head here about something. You're still thinking about something over and over and over. There's just overthinking of something here. Whatever's frustrating you. It's frustrating to be in this energy and, you know, you're just thinking about it. I don't really know what to say, like, because you understand with the King of Pentacles you know like you are understanding here of your limitations of you know what you can do and what you can't do so i really i really don't know what else to say here capricorn um that's your reading I, I i really don't know what else to add there really isn't anything else for me to add um without like going too in depth but um yeah just for a quick reading that's your reading capricorn uh for this weekend so thanks for watching um, good luck this weekend. Take care and I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, Aquarius. For some, for some reason I thought something like went wrong there, but no. Okay. Hey, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you this weekend in the current energy. Three of Cups in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, overall energy, Two of Wands, huh, Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, why is there so many cups, dude? Okay, um, your overall energy, Aquarius, is apparently, you have a lot of choices here, uh, that you want, that you feel would satisfy you, and you're like trying to figure out which direction you want to go in. What choice do you want to make here? Hmm. I feel like though, there's something about this, yeah, I was like, something about this feels weird. So, it's not balanced here. And you know, okay, you kind of, I don't know if you know, but like, there's this feeling like there is an awakening here because it's like, okay, something isn't right. Something's not right here. And you feel awakened to this. And this awakening is like, okay, um, I feel like I have a lot of choices. So, and a lot of these choices... It's like having choices makes you kind of happy. It makes you happy to know that you have options here. You're like, okay, I have options here. This makes you happy knowing that you have options here. It's like these options you felt like almost drawn to in some way, like almost like there were maybe signs from the universe, like, hey, you know, you have options here. You have choices and you kind of feel good that you have choices here. Um, and it's good that you're like, okay, I can make a plan here. I can, you know, choose a path here, choose a path that I want to go in. Now, here's the thing. You're choosing a path here, but choosing a path here is, is, is leading to all, all of this, this 10 of cups in reverse. It's like the paths that you have here to choose you feel like it's not actually going to make you emotionally satisfied here. You don't actually feel like any of these choices are going to satisfy you emotionally here because <sighs> because it's not what you want. Exactly. Like because you because they're just I don't know how to word this. Um they're just people to have a lot of fun with. They're just casual. It's just very casual, I guess. That's what I want to say here. It wouldn't, It doesn't lead to this. It doesn't lead to the family. It doesn't lead to the happily ever after or any of this. It's like you do know that none of these lead to that. You know, it's just super casual, super casual fun times here. 
that you know doesn't lead to any sort of potential here or opportunity it's just casual fun times nothing substantial okay that's great i mean here i mean it just seems like you're happy to have options here um and your know, satisfaction is like well i'm going to make a decision here but you're making choices here like you're making um a choice here you're making up your mind here knowing that it's not going to lead to a happily ever after that is just casual fun times with no real potential okay your person your person's energy towards you what is your person's energy towards you in the current energy Oh, there's four cards here. Okay, fine. Four of Wands in reverse, Four of Swords, Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. We'll just put them all here like that. And overall energy. Oh, Queen of Swords. <laughs> Their overall energy is... Uh, uh -huh. Okay. They might not be very happy here because mm, there's a lie here that they know about. Uh, so, okay, this person, their overall energy here is they haven't done anything here because they feel a burden on them because they know about some deceit here. There's some, they're being honest with themselves about some sort of lying or deceit that has happened here, something that has been kept secret here. And, you know, they feel burdened by that. And it's kind of like, it kind of, it kind of pisses them off a bit. Here, I don't feel like it's the actual deceit that's pissing them off. It's more, I feel it's more the burden that it's causing them. Because they feel like they can't do anything. They can't act on anything here because they have these burdens here. These burdens of things that they know that they don't want to know here. And that is what's frustrating for them. They know things that they don't want to know, okay? <laughs> Basically, here. So their energy towards you is... You know, they they feel like their life has been disrupted here because there's been silence, because there has been no talking here. Um, even though they haven't given up here, but you know, they're they're doing fine. That's the thing. You know, they're taking care of themselves here. So their energy here, like towards you, which is kind of weird, is they're not saying anything to you, but they haven't given up on you. You know, they're just working on themselves here. You know, they're working on themselves. They're being mature about the situation here, but they do feel like the things with you this, in this connection aren't stable at all. Okay, okay. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome? Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, and the overall energy, Ace of Wands in reverse. <sighs> so overall, hmm. I feel like nothing is starting here, but I feel like you you daydream about things working out with this person. You daydream about you working together here with this person 
Um, but I don't feel like anything's happening here. Like I, it's like you, it's like you daydream about the day when you'll be able to work things out with this person, um, because things haven't happened here. Things haven't started with this person. That's the overall energy here. Things haven't started with this person. It's like things were going to start with this person, but they haven't started. And you just kind of daydream about when, you know, things will start with this person. And the energy here um, is feeling a little overly defensive here about it. You know, you, you get on your guard um, with this person when you think about the things. When you think about how things didn't work out here. You know, when something started, but then it stopped before it even really get, got going here. And you get kind of defensive about that. Because it's almost like you you don't want to do anything until you see a good opportunity here. Because it's like you, you want everything here. There is an energy here of you want your cake and eat it too. You want it all. So it's like, well, until I can see that I'm going to get it all, I'm not going to do anything here. And you're very defensive about that for some reason. I mean, I know this isn't really like, I mean, this is a potential outcome with this energy, but it's just, you have your walls up. You have your walls up here and you're just very defensive about, you know, even the suggestion that somebody is like, yeah, you wanted everything. You want these casual hookups, but you also want this too, but you can't have it all. You get defensive when it's like almost suggested to you that you can't have it all. I don't know. Aquarius, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself. Yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even going to say anything about this. That's your reading, Aquarius. You know, you can figure this shit out for yourself. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Good luck this weekend. Take care and I will talk to you later. Hey Pisces. So let's see what's going on for you this weekend. In the current energies. of swords in reverse, the magician in reverse, and the knight of cups. So your overall energy here, we have the ace of pentacles in reverse. Um, you feel like you've missed out on an opportunity here because you didn't do something here. Because you didn't make anything happen here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, you, you might feel this weekend like you've missed out on something. And because you've missed out on it, you're like, well, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't want to do anything. I can't do anything here because I feel stuck. I can't go anywhere because I can't do what I want to do. I can't act on my emotions. I can't express how I feel. It, it There's a bit of an energy here of like, perhaps, yeah, you've missed out on an opportunity and instead of you know, finding a way around it, the energy here is like, I can't do anything here because I can't, I'm stuck. I'm stuck here and I can't say anything about it. I can't do anything about it. I can't, you know, I can't express how I feel about it. And it's just, the thing is with the magician card here, you can, it's just, you don't feel confident. You know, you don't feel like you have the confidence to really speak out and like act on your emotions and express how you feel, express that you feel stuck, express, you know, that you missed out on something here. Yeah. You know, it's a burden for you and it feels like it doesn't even make any sense to you. It doesn't even make any sense to you why this happened. Okay. Let's see what the energy is like for their person. Your energy, the your person, what their energy is like towards you. Mm. 
Okay. Three of Swords in reverse. Ten of Cups. The Tower. What the fuck is all this? Their overall energy here. The Fool. Um. Alright. The overall energy of your person here is they're starting... They're starting at the beginning here. They're starting at the beginning because they have this fantasy of what a happily ever after looks like to them. So they're starting over again, starting from the beginning. They have this fantasy here because, you know, I feel like they've been heartbroken. They've been heartbroken and they're still trying to get over this pain because it just happened very suddenly. Just, it's just very suddenly. I don't know what's going on here, but this person's heart has been broken. And it just came out of fucking nowhere and it just devastated this person. But they want to like, they're just like, okay, I'm going to start over again, you know, with my fantasy of what it is. Yeah. Okay. So they're trying not to get triggered here. They're like, I don't want to get triggered. And death in reverse here. They're like, they're, <laughs> they're resisting changing. They don't want to, they don't want to let go here. So they're not going to get triggered by it. They're like, I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm just going to start over again. I'm going to start over again with what it is that would make me happy. What my happily ever after looks like here because pain, heartache sucks, especially when it comes out of nowhere. Okay. That's where your person's at. I don't know if it's actually happened or if this is just from the past. This is just something that they haven't gotten over. Okay, what's the potential outcome here for you, Pisces? Potential outcome. Okay, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, the Moon, and the Chariot. Overall energy, Two of Wands. Potential, there's a lot of potential here. The overall energy there, you know, this is like the world is your oyster. You can go either way here. So you have options, basically, Pisces. You can go either way here. That's the overall energy to here for you. The potential outcome here is, well, you don't really know what's going to happen here. This is the unknown, the moon. You don't know. I, it's like you don't know because the five of swords here in reverse. Uh, hmm. It can be like, hmm, I don't want to say anything. There's something like you don't, you don't know about something here because you don't know how somebody's going to act almost. There's a bit of, I don't know if this person is only out for themselves or not here. Um, because it feels like you've been down that road before. That's how, that's what I get from this energy here. So it's up to you. It's up to you which choice you want to make here. Um, I know it's not very useful or very helpful here, but the moon here is really kind of like, there isn't much that you know um, about the situation here. Um, yeah. I do feel you want to move forward. Um, you know, you are in control. Again, you are in control of, you know, the path that you want to go down. You have the choice here. Yeah, it's up to you what you want to do here. Um, I really don't... Yeah, there really isn't much else for me to say. I know that sounds so stupid, but yeah, I mean, you just don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really all that I have here for you. Here, I'm going to pull on this Five of Swords. Okay. Uh, the Empress. I don't know which way she's going. In reverse. Yeah, you just, again, it's just lacking information here. The King of Pentacles. Um... lacking the understanding here, lacking the experience here as well. 
Uh, it's like you, it's like not having enough experience here to know whether this person um, is in it for themselves or not. Whether this person is going to backstab you or not. It's like you don't know. So it's really up to you. You know, it's your free will. You get to make this decision here. I'm sorry, I can't really. I don't really have much else for you. Um, okay, that's your reading, Pisces. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck this weekend. Take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye.